Okay. Now I'm getting ready to go to go up to Vermont and then over to Massachusetts uh, this weekend. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to be uh, photographing some of the fall colors up in Vermont and Massachusetts. And uh, today I took a ride around uh, my own neighborhood. And I said, you know, there's got to be a way that I can bring Vermont and Massachusetts right into my own neighborhood. So I found this tree. And I'm kind of pushing things a little bit. But I want I want the fall colors to show through. You know, I'm getting antsy, you know, so <laughs> so I came up with this idea. How's that? I converted this into that. And I'm about to show you how to do that. Uh and it's very, very, very simple. What I'll do is I'll bring in the layers palette so you can have a look at it. What I did was I created a uh um an adjustment layer uh for for channel mixer and these are the settings that I used I want um uh, red 72 green 200 always go I'm always going to be going over to the maximum on the green and then I'm going to adjust the blue accordingly and so let me demonstrate that to you and just show you how I did it so I'm going to go into the uh uh, adjustment layers palette and I'm going to choose channel mixer and this brings up this dialog box here let me get the uh, layers palette out of the way here so you can see now I want you to keep your eye on the the green leaves in on the tree first thing we're going to do is going to bring the green all the way over see that makes it all turn red but it makes the whole image turn red so what we need to do is counterbalance that with we're going to bring the blue over just a little bit all the way over here. So now we're beginning to see that it's starting to look like fall. And if it gets too red like this, I can always adjust it and bring down the red like so. But watch the sky when I do that. See, the sky turns sort of like a tur turquoise. So, you know, the, it, I'm, I'm adjusting the the sky, the leaves. So I'm playing around with the blue. I'm, the blue is going to be shifting to the left, and the red is also going to be shifting to the right or left, depending on your tastes. Um, so that one looks pretty good for me. So I'm going <laughs> to click OK. Now the next thing I want to do is, I can leave it just like that, but you'll see that the, the grass is also sort of like a, a color red, and the sky is not really blue, it's sort of like an aquamarine or turquoise, so it, does, it looks kind of artificial, but I like the color of the leaves, so I'm going to keep that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, I'm going to go into my... Uh, layer mask here that the uh, adjustment layer creates and I'm going to hold down control and hit the letter I to invert that to black and that hides all the effects of the uh, adjustment layer that we just did next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brush uh, I'm going to adjust the size of the brush to what I want make sure I'll, I'm going to use a soft brush uh, I've got uh, zero percent hardness and I'm gonna go into white make sure my default color is white and I'm gonna bring the opacity down to around 70 percent somewhere there about 70 71 it doesn't matter you, you just experiment now what I'm gonna do is while I'm on still on the layer mask for the adjustment layer I'm gonna paint in the color and what this does, the, you know, this allows me to paint in the, the degree of color change that I want, where I want it, and leave the sky and the grass just the way they were. So, I'm painting in. Fall colors right here. And, you know, if I want to, I can... Make the you know the grass uh, uh, 
sort of like a, an orange burnt color. But that looks good right there. And if I wanted to, and you know, some sometimes uh, there there are leaves that uh, still are green. So if we go in really, really close, and let's see, if I change it, the the brush color to black, I can still paint in some green too if I want to. So, you know, so it's all entirely up to you. What you want to do, but you've got here. There, there, there's the one I did, and this is the one I did pr sh showed you in the beginning, and this is the one we just did right now. So that was our before, and that's our after, and uh, that's it. Good luck. Have a happy fall.